everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I was just thinking, how do you know you're old? That's my question. How do you know you're old? Well, when I went to get my medicine, I didn't ask for a, a bottle that's easy to open, but apparently they are considering me in that range where you need an easy to open bottle. Now, a few years ago, this is a bottle from when my husband was taking medicine. It's got one of those bottle tops that you have to press down and turn, and it is harder. But when I went to get my medicine, they gave me one of these bottles where you just pull this little thing down and turn. Look at that. It is so easy. And then, you know you're old when you have to put your glasses on for close-up if you can't see close. Some people take them off. My husband takes his off when he wants to see something close. But on the on your aspirin bottles or your um, this is like a ibuprofen type thing, you have to line it up with that little tiny arrow. And I remember a couple times in the night I forgot to put my glasses on because I can see far and I can see in the dark. You think you can see everything because your eyes don't need to focus real well. Well, I've come down and I'm thinking, oh, good grief, I can't see that little thing. So you're feeling around trying to find it and you find it and then you feel the upper one and you try to line it up so that when you pop it open, you can pop it open because it's got to be in a certain spot because it's got on that cap. If you don't get it in the little groove, you can't open it. So that's, and so then what do you do? You you have to turn a light on too because you're trying to really you can't feel you can't see so you end up going upstairs with the bottle or to your back to your room to get your glasses and put them on so that you can see and you have to have a light on to see that's how you I guess you know you're getting old when your eyes start to go then there's the hearing now I don't have problem with my hearing in fact I just shut the door I shut a window I shut another door because I could hear the the um, blower that Jim's using outside. He's blowing, um, he just cut grass along the driveway area and he's blowing it back into the grass. And I could hear the high pitch sound that that blower was making. I actually won that blower. We had gone to a tractor store and they had a little drawing and I don't normally go with him when he goes into a lawnmower and tractor store. I just kind of sit and wait. And I went in this one day and they had a drawing. So I filled out the little piece of paper and about three months later, I get a phone call saying that I won this leaf blower. So we went down and got the leaf blower. It's an electric one. So it we just use um, very, very long extension cords to use it. And the weed eater that he was using is the electric one that I had gotten when I was because a lot of times tractor or I mean gas operated things you have to pull and they don't want to start where the electric you just plug it in and and it works and so that's what I have I have the electric I even have an electric lawnmower now it's harder to to mow lawn with your electric lawnmower because you got to keep the cord out from underneath the blades of the mower and you have to keep swinging it and so you you learn to do it in a pattern that the cord is always at a different so you're never going to cross over the cord and the same thing with when you vacuum you try to vacuum so that you don't have to keep messing with the cords because that makes the job harder when I would mow the lawn with just the gas engine mower it would go so much faster but I can't start it so it's not going to get done if I can't start it so that's why I would use an electric lawnmower so I guess that's another sign of getting older. You can't quite start the lawnmower. You pull the cord and it it doesn't want to start. And you pull and you pull and you pull. And after a while you get worn out. You don't have the strength. I remember one time I was trying to mow the lawn. I had every intention to mow the lawn. I pushed the mower up into the van, wheeled it up the boards because um, I had to mow it at the apartment house. and. Um, I got the mower over there. I got all set to mow. Couldn't start the mower. And there was nobody around to even ask them to see if they could start it. So I got back in the car, went back home, 
told Jim my mower doesn't want to start, so he had to go back to the apartment house with me in his vehicle, start the mower, and then every time that I needed to pick something up, I had a bungee cord because they put those darn bars on it that are supposed to be safety bars. Well, I didn't want it turning off because if it turned off, maybe I couldn't um, start it again. So I wrap a bungee cord around that handle so that when you are when you squeeze it, it stays running. So if you let go to go move something, it's not going to conk out on you. And so that's how I had to mow the lawn. So that's why I got the electric mower. Electric mowers are a lot more expensive. They're not as easy to use, but I can start it. So I guess that's a sign of getting old. Another thing that you find when you're getting old is um, you can't um, move things like furniture like when I was when like my living room used to have a rug on it now it's got the the wood floor it's a lot easier to move things on wood floor but I used to move the couch around and my husband would come home and the whole living room would be in a whole different different arrangement because I could move furniture and thought nothing of it now it's hard to even move a chair let alone move a couch in fact, I don't even have a couch anymore. I gave my couch away. I had two couches, and I gave them both away. I um, Actually, I had three couches. <laughs> I don't want a couch in the house. I think couches take up a lot of space. And the thing that I found is if you get tired, you want to lay down on the couch. And if you're ti that tired, you should just go up to a bed and lay down. It's a lot more comfortable. And so I gave my couches away. I have zero couches in my house. So when you come to sit and visit with me, you either visit on a stool that I have. I do have a sitting room, and it's got a couple platform rockers. Or you can sit on an exercise ball, and that way you keep your balance, um, your body posture. You have to balance it, so you're going to use more of your body core to help you to, to um, sit than if you're just in a chair. Well, I guess that's it for today. I hope you're not feeling too old. And when they hand you the darn bottle with the, with the little lip on it, you know they think you're old. And it's so sad because I didn't ask for the easy to open bottle, but they gave me an easy open bottle. And there's no kids in the house. They didn't even ask me if there's kids in the house because they shouldn't give you things like that if there's kids in the house because the kids could open it. If I can open it, the kids can open it. Well, you have a great day, and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.